Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and improvements that Microsoft is shipping with the February 2022 update. Although the next feature update of Windows 11 is not due at least until October 2022, in February Microsoft is rolling out a number of features and, ex and experiences for all users, including support for Android apps on Windows 11, taskbar improvements, a new page in the settings app to show more details about your Microsoft account, and two new apps, including the redesigned Notepad and Media Player apps. So here it's what's new with the February 2022 update for Windows 11. As part of the uh, taskbar improvements, in this update you will get a new microphone icon in the system tray that allows you to mute and unmute video calls on Microsoft Teams, as you can see right here. Also for certain apps, such as Microsoft Teams, now there is a new share option when hovering over an app that allows you to share that application on the conference call. As you can see right here, we're sharing the File Explorer application. If you want to stop sharing that application, you can simply select a different application or hover over the app and click the Stop Sharing application, which is a handy feature if you want to present something specific with the audience, but you don't want to share the entire desktop. Furthermore, the clock from the uh, system tray will now appear on all the monitors on a multi-monitor setup. However, this update will not address many of the user complaints such as the drag and drop files to the desktop or change the location for the taskbar and many others. The February 2022 update for Windows 11, it will also introduce a new updated version of the widgets icon, which now shows the current weather information and it aligns to the left side of the taskbar if you're using the center option. However, if you change the alignment for the taskbar to the left, you can see that the icon will now be placed between the icons in the taskbar on, on the left side. Now I can see that a lot of people may find this useful to have the weather information right at the bottom left corner, but many would not like this. So if you want to disable the widgets weather information on the taskbar for Windows 11, just simply open the uh, taskbar settings and then simply turn off the widgets option. And as you can see, it will disappear. You can always re-enable it by turning on the button that you disabled before. As part of the uh, settings changes, Windows 11 now includes a new Your Microsoft Account page, which includes more information about your Microsoft account, including the ability to get a Microsoft 365 subscription. And if you already have that and it's connected with the account that you're currently using on your computer, you will see details about that account and on this page. And under the related section, you will see a bunch of links that will open the corresponding page on your Microsoft account online to see, for example, the payment options, order history, rewards, and more. In this update, you also find a new feature known as Help With that uses Bing to suggest help topics in the settings app. And you will notice this feature when you go to a page in the settings app and you see the help with section. In this case, I'm in the displays page. And as you can see, we have the help with displayed section right here. And that includes different help topics to get the most out of these settings. For example, setting up multiple monitors. When we click that, that will open Microsoft Edge to a page with help information on how to set up a dual monitor on Windows 11. And what's interesting about the result is that you won't see any related searches that you can click through. So it's like a clean page where you can see the information and just get things done without having to go to another website or anything like that. Still, Microsoft could have just popped the answer on, on the screen right here without having to open Microsoft Edge, but that's the way they wanted to go with this feature. Also, according to Microsoft, with the February 2022 rollout, Windows 11 will also gain some improvements 
for auto brightness control on low light conditions so in low light conditions the screen should look now much better than before also as part of the february 2022 update for windows 11 you will now get two new apps or at least two redesigned apps which is the notepad and the new media player apps so let me just open the notepad so you can see how that new version looks like and the app is the same as before but with difference that the new notepad includes an updated interface to match the windows 11 design language and now supports the dark mode theme but everything still works like before we also now get a new settings page where you can change the font the style and the size and of course you can change the theme and you can even select the use the system theme also in this new version of notepad i think there is a an updated version of of the uh, search feature and for the replace feature The new media player app replaces the group music app and it includes a new design that also matches the new Windows style and it includes support for both audio and video playback. As part of the feature, this is a very basic application where you can create playlists and there is support for album art and artist information. Also the app automatically scans and adds your folders containing music and video stored locally on the known folders on windows 11 so let me just go through the different sections quickly so you can see how the uh, new app looks like we also get a settings page where you can add new folder locations for music and video you can change the app theme between the dark and light theme and you can also use the system setting so the application will switch between the themes automatically depending on the mode that is set on Windows 11. So if you want to create a playlist, that is something simple to do right from the uh, playlist section and clicking the uh, playlist button and just specifying the name and create and clicking the create playlist option. Then we get the video library where that's where you're going to find all your videos. The music library is divided in songs, albums, and artists. You can add new folder from here too. And on the home section, you will be able to see all your recent files. And there is a menu right here on the top right where you can open where you can open a file, a folder, or you can also open a URL to get to a stream, playlist, or to a file directly. The media player app also includes the mini player, which you can turn on by clicking this button or using the control M keyboard shortcut. And that will switch to the mini player and you can exit that of clicking that option. And also there is a full screen mode, subtitles where it's supported. And of course you can control volume and all the basic media controls are present on this application. There is also an equalizer. And there is an option to cast the audio or video to another device. And there is even speed control. So this is just a very basic app to get you started if you have some files on your computer that you need to listen or watch. This is not meant to be a fully featured media player application. Finally, starting with the Windows 11 February 2022 update, you will be able to download the first preview of the Windows subsystem for Android and the Amazon App Store to add support for Android apps on Windows 11. However, it needs to be said that this is the first preview. This is not the final version of this integration. 
and your computer still need to meet the minimum requirements to use this feature. So to install the subsystem for Android, the computer will require to have at least eight gigabytes of RAM, 16 as recommended, a solid state drive, and a supported processor, which have to be an Intel Core i3, A generation, AMD Ryzen 3000, Qualcomm Snapdragon AC, or anything higher than that. Also, you will need to have installed the latest version of the Microsoft Store. You can check and download the latest version by opening the Microsoft Store and going to the library section and then clicking the Get Updates button. You also need to have enabled the virtual machine platform feature on Windows 11. But before you can even do that, you have to make sure that virtualization is enabled on the UEFI framework on your computer. If you don't know how to enable this feature, please check your computer manufacturer to find more specific details on how to complete the task. Now, if you need to enable or you want to check if you have the virtual machine platform feature enabled on Windows 11, you just need to open the start menu and look for features and that should pop the turn windows features on and off option and then you click that scroll down and make sure that the virtual machine platform feature is enabled click ok once you do that you might be required to restart the computer go ahead and do that and then you just simply click the install button and check this if you don't want to share diagnostic data with Microsoft and then click the download button to set up everything. Okay, so the installation completed and then we have to click the open the Amazon App Store button. That will expand the Windows subsystem for Android virtualization machine. And of course you're going to need a Amazon account based on United States in order to get to the applications. Once you log in with your Amazon account, you will get to the App Store where you can pick and install any of the available applications. And at this time, there's not a lot. There's just a few applications and pretty much all the apps are games. So I'm just going to install one application. So to demonstrate that this is working and as you can see now we're running an Android application on Windows 11. Unfortunately the only apps that we can run officially are the ones from the Amazon App Store since the Windows subsystem for Android does not support the Google Play Store services. Yes officially you will be able to sideload applications into the Windows subsystem for Android. However, you won't be able to run apps such as Gmail or any other Google specific application because again, the system does not support the Google Play Store services. If you've never seen it before, I'm just going to open the Windows subsystem for Android settings so you can see how this interface looks like. Here are all the settings and things that you can see in on this platform. One of the features that you might want to turn on depending on how you use uh, this feature is to switch from as needed to continuous. So the uh, virtual machine for Android keeps running all the time. And this of course is going to use more battery, more resources. But if you are using uh, this platform all the time, having to turn on the subsystem every time that you need an application, it might take some time. So you can switch to this option to have it always running on the computer. Also, there is this uh, files feature that allows you to access the Windows subsystem for Android and grab any downloaded file that you might have downloaded using another application. However, you can upload files to the subsystem. And that was a review of all the new features and changes coming with the February 2022 update for Windows 11. It is still unclear how this feature will be available to users, but for example, the support for Android apps on Windows 11, the Notepad app and the new media player app will be available as optional downloads from the Microsoft Store. 
and the settings and taskbar changes are likely to arrive with a service pack that won't require full reinstallation of Windows. So everything will just be installed as a cumulative update like those that you get every month. Remember to like the video, share it, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.